Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. So this is another episode in my huge I Love Spring series. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. And follow me over on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. Say a little prayer for my broken ankle. I'm going to see my ortho this week. Hopefully I can start weight bearing on my crutches in my boot. Anyway, I love y'all and without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how to create a super adorable spring topiary. So I'm taking a Dollar Tree garden planter, and this is kind of a small to medium size one. I'm taking this craft tool and I'm just cutting a hole in the bottom of the garden planter with a craft tool. So basically I just actually just cut slits and then I'm popping one of the Dollar Tree kitchen funnels up through the base of it. And the kitchen funnels come in the kitchen section three for one, and then you're going to pop a piece of styrofoam down down on top of that and you're just going to trim off the excess styrofoam so I had kind of a longer piece but Dollar Tree does sell the shorter pieces okay once you have that done you're going to take a shish kebab or wooden dowel and I think a shish kebab works really nice this is a thicker shish kebab um, because then it can poke through the little ball so this is a ball from the kit section so I'm popping the shish kebab down through the first ball and then into the second ball and it was a little bit tricky. I had to do a little bit of maneuvering. And then the next part is you're going to take a shish kebab and poke that through one of the Dollar Tree footballs. So to create my topiary, I'm gonna to use a football and two of the kids' um, little Dollar Tree, they're kind of like little foam balls. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the football into my foam piece and then my two balls on top of that. And then we have a topiary. Now for the top of our topiary, I'm going to use the other part of the funnel. So the kitchen funnels come in actually a three pack. So you get three for a dollar. And I'm just taking my scissors and I'm cutting off the edge. There's like a little lip around them. And then that's gonna be the topper. I set that aside. And then I just went ahead and took some chalk paint and I chalk painted my football and my little, um, you know, balls at the top. And then I'm also chalk painting the base of my planter. So I will tell you guys a little side note. Um, I probably would have chalk painted these in advance. However, truth be told, I didn't know if this was actually going to go together and work. And then once it did, I was like, yes, okay, we're going to go with this. Now, the next thing I want to do is take some tulips. And these tulips are at Michael's. I believe they're about $1.99. Dollar Tree also carries tulips too. So so keep your eyes peeled. So I'm just gonna pop some of these tulips into the base of my planter. Now you guys can really use any flower. I'm trying to kind of do like a Dollar Tree take on the big Hobby Lobby topiary. And so the Hobby Lobby topiary has tulips actually painted on to the base of the topiary. I wasn't really confident all the way in my painting skills. So I just decided that this would be a really cute thing to do. And plus it's also going to fill in that space. That's kind of that gap between the football and the garden base of the planter. So this is my take on that topiary and honestly you guys I'm pretty much crushing on it because we were able to do everything from the Dollar Tree of course these little flowers but you guys can grab flowers at the Dollar Tree or you can pop into your local craft store and grab some tulips if you like the next thing I want to do is take some of this satin ribbon now this satin ribbon also actually was from Michaels as well use your coupon or really any ribbon will do I just thought it was cute and pink and it matched the tulips so I'm just making a cute little shoelace bow now once you have your little funnel attached, so you're just going to hot glue your funnel to that top ball. Um, you're going to hot glue the pink ribbon or any ribbon right on top of the seam where that funnel meets the ball. I hope that makes sense. And so then the next thing I want to do is just add another cute little bow on to kind of this second part of the topiary. Um, and this is like on top of the football part. And believe it or not, you guys, this topiary is actually pretty darn stinking steady. So I was pretty excited for it. And I just used some of that little cute Dollar Tree Easter ribbon for the second tier of it. So here we go. Oh, the other thing I did was take some little Dollar Tree ribbon and rim the bottom of the garden planter with that. I just thought that would give it a nice little touch. 
I'm pretty excited for this, you guys. Comment and let me know what you think. Of course, it isn't quite as big as the original Hobby Lobby one, and it was a little bit tricky trying to find things to really duplicate that one, um, but I think we killed it using Dollar Tree supplies. Let me know what you guys think. It was really fun to make and I thought it came out super cute. The next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to create another um, planter or topiary type planter. This time I'm going to use some of the flower garden planters from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking this really pretty craft paper. I actually found this craft paper at Hobby Lobby and it's kind of like the McKinsey Child um, pattern and so I thought that'd be super cute. So I'm just taking and I'm cutting the paper to fit the size of the front of the planter. Now if you wanted to and it might take some time you could try to go all the way around the planter by just cutting it and you know pasting the different seams together I was thinking about doing that but once I got the front part of this on I just thought that that was cute enough without having to try to patch it together and match up the um, little seams um, of the garden planter I think that would have driven me crazy to try to do that but if anybody has the patience to do that or you can also hand paint these garden planters in this pattern I did that last season for you guys and I'll try to post that video on Facebook for you guys um I do post several videos a day on Facebook to keep to keep you guys inspired to do tons of happy crafting. Okay, so I'm taking Mod Podge and I Mod Podged the paper to the front of the um, little planter and then I Mod Podged a generous layer on the outside. Once I had three of my planters done, I'm just adding in some foam to the bottom of them. And once I have the foam added, I flipped my planters over and took my craft tool and just cut a little slit in the bottom of my planters. And that's where I'm going to take these wooden dowels and pop the wooden dowels inside of the planter to kind of make it this three tier planner. Okay, so while I was planning this out, I kind of created it this way, but I want to tell you guys if you're going to add flowers to it, add your flowers first. I kind of found that out the hard way and I'll kind of share with you guys as I go along. So anyway, now I'm just taking some pretty Dollar Tree flowers and I use these kind of white ones to pop into the sides. And then I had some of that really pretty long pink and purple Dollar Tree wisteria that I just thought was so beautiful that I thought would look so pretty kind of cascading over the side of it. So it got a little heavy while I was trying to press the flowers down into that and it was making my three tiers kind of push into each other. So I just decided to disassemble that part of it and just do the floral part. So now with the florals, I'm adding in some pretty lilacs and just some really pretty spring flowers. And you guys, there's so many floral options at Dollar Tree that are really cute. Um, you guys can also pop into your local craft store, but I really do have fun with their florals. I think they're fun and beautiful and very springy and boutique on a budget. So I did add a little bit more wisteria and mostly this was a palette of white and purple and pink. So now I'm adding my little dowels back in. And the other thing I want to let you guys know is try to use two dowels. That makes it a lot sturdier as well. And you can also add some dabs of hot glue in there. Here is how my three-tiered garden planter turned out. I am pretty much crushing on this one as well. However, I will tell you that this garden planter was not as sturdy as I wanted it to be. So 
I might need to work out some of the mechanics of it. If you guys recreate this, let me know how you do with it. Um, I needed to like find some way though that the foam, actually I think what I probably should have done is to use the firmer foam. So I use like that soft foam for fresh flowers. Try using the firm foam. <laughs> I hope that helps you guys, but it really is really cute with this pattern. I think it jazzes things up and kind of gives things like a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland um, appeal if that makes sense. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna take one of these bunny heads and create a super adorable little blooming roses bunny wreath. Um, so I started out with some of the kind of orangey color roses. They're kind of a peachish orange color. I actually have three different colors here. Um, and I used those around the base. And then as I got towards the center, I kind of worked it up to where it was a little bit darker. And then I saved the white roses for the ears. So it's almost a little bit of an ombre, but really not really. Um, the other thing is make sure you have like something underneath your little bunny so the hot glue doesn't drip through. And then a little tip when you're doing this, um, as you hot glue, you're gonna hot glue the roses kind of to each other and also to the little tinsel head. And you could even cover it with some fabric um, to make it easier to glue on top of. So that's just an option as well. But then have fun with it, get creative, and use whatever beautiful roses and colors of florals that you love. Now the next step is to grab some ribbon and I'm just using this pink transparent Dollar Tree ribbon. Um, I didn't want it to overpower the beauty of the pretty blooming roses and so I just whipped out my easy bow maker but you could also make a quick little Olivia bow and this is just a four inch bow. If you're using the easy bow maker it's a really small bow and I'm going to pop it right in between where the white and the orange roses meet. Um, so and I did make three layers and I made them a little bit smaller as I went across so I think four inches and then three inches and then about two inches if you're using the easy bow maker um, and then you just want to dovetail your ends and then I took another piece of that pink ribbon and used that to tie it on inside of the little um, Rose's bunny head and then I had a really super sweet wreath um, and also you may want to grab like six bundles of roses I think is how many I used for this and then there you have it. It's a blooming roses wreath. I think I'm going to use this in my bathroom. I think that'll be really sweet. And then get maybe some pretty um, towels with like some peaches and cream color. My bathroom is pretty neutral. And so I thought that that would be really pretty. I'm really excited to start decorating for Easter. I am going to just kind of wait maybe towards the weekend to start on the inside of my home because I have a really big Valentine's Day display to kind of um, get handled and currently it's snowing. We're all snowed in right now. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys, you can take one of these little terraniums and you can actually pop one of those Dollar Tree gnomes in. So <laughs> I was trying this out to see if it would work and it did and the gnome got stuck. So I actually couldn't get him back out to show you guys how to do it, but you're just gonna push his little hat through the top of the terrarium and then scooch his little butt in. <laughs> and then I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree succulents and I'm just popping them in. And I did have to cut down the larger succulent to put it into the front. So I took one of the large blue succulents and popped that back behind my gnome. And that also kept him from wiggling around in there. But look how adorable this is. Oh my goodness. I think this would be really fun to do with kids and grandkids. Um, the gnome part was a little bit tricky, but I think little fingers can get in here even easier. And then I used some of those little fairy garden signs and I poked those into there. And then here is what we have. I also put in some little moss so he had something to sit on. And that, there's that cute, adorable gnome. I think it would be really cute. I actually wanted to paint his hat. I didn't realize that he was going to get stuck in there so easily. So once you get him in, he's not coming back out. At least I couldn't get mine back out. <laughs> Oh, and then I have to share with you guys what happened. So midway through my crafting session today, look what I found in the living room. This actually happens um, 
every time I'm crafting. Benji Bear got into one of my little moss um, pieces from a Dollar Tree and he had a big time. So there was the crafting of the day for Benji Bear. He was making some moss goodies. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to make another cute little egg topiary. This time I'm using one of those Dollar Tree pails. And then I'm just going to push one of the Dollar Tree lights down into it and Dollar Tree has these like little bunny lights now they're so adorable oh my goodness you guys and then I'm going to take some of these larger eggs and I'm just going to take a shish kebab stick and I'm going to pop a shish kebab stick through two of the eggs pop that into the foam and then for this last egg I'm just going to use another shish kebab stick and these are like a thicker shish kebab stick so try to look for the ones that are thicker I think I got these at my grocery store for like a dollar 99 um, and then you just pop that into the top and then you have a really cool little egg to Topiary. and I ended up putting another little one at the top but I ended up taking that off so I have my battery pack kind of tucked down into there and the pail is actually from Dollar Tree too and so then I'm just going to take the little lights and kind of weave them around um, this one is kind of like really kind of fun and almost like kiddish kind of cutesy um, it's maybe not more of a high-end craft but I think it's really it was actually like one of my favorites out of these DIYs I don't know they were kind of all my favorites but this one turned out just really happy you know because if you need a little space in your home to light up and you know you see these egg topiaries like at TJ Maxx and some of those decor stores for a lot more than a couple of dollars so this one was pretty inexpensive now I will tell you I needed to have used like a different bigger pail maybe but anyway I thought it turned out fine okay so I'm gonna take my easy bow maker and some of this Dollar Tree cute little Easter egg ribbon it had all the same colors as my Easter egg topiary so I thought that that would work well and I'm just gonna make a cute little easy bow and then that is it and this is like if you're using your easy bow maker it's like a three four inch bow you guys can also check out my huge bow video I'm gonna link in the description box in my YouTube video here and then you guys can look at that but I make a really easy Olivia bow um, that doesn't require a bow maker um, but sometimes I like to use the bow maker just to give it a little bit something different and sometimes I feel like that they come out a little bit more symmetrical than my handmade bows but anyway there it is popped in there I just hot glued it on top of the little tin and voila we have a fabulous lighted egg topiary on a budget and a great way to use some of those large Dollar Tree Easter eggs I know a lot of people ask me what can we do with those well there's an idea for you and it was relatively easy to be honest with you so I hope you guys had fun with that one So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys just a super easy little adorable egg craft. So you're just going to take some of those Dollar Tree Easter eggs and some cute little paper. I found this paper at Hobby Lobby. It is so inexpensive, you guys, and there are so many fun patterns. We just recently got a Hobby Lobby in our town, so I've been kind of going a little crazy, popping in there and finding way too many goodies. Um, so I'm just, I actually, you could also, you know, cut the paper out first. That might be a good idea as well um, but I just popped that little paper on there and then um, I mod podged another layer on top of that as well so I want to do some kind of fun little like Mackenzie Childs inspired eggs here so I'm using this pretty paper from Hobby Lobby The next paper that I thought would be super cute was this little polka dot paper. Again, this is also from Hobby Lobby. And then the other idea that you guys could do too is just to add a cute little bow to the top of these, or you could even string these and make these into like a really adorable garland. So you guys check your Hobby Lobby or your Michaels for some pretty craft paper. Um, a little bit is going to go a long way with this craft paper. I can do a lot more different things with this. I have my eye on some hearts actually that I had left over from Valentine's Day and some little chickadees as well.
So I just popped those little eggs into this two-tiered tray. I actually found this last season at Target. I'm wondering if they're gonna set one out again this year, but check it out, you guys. As always, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? Okay, I am giving away a set of candles and I'm going to announce a winner for that on Saturday. So you guys comment down below and let me know did you get any snow? And if so, how many inches of snow did you get? And if you didn't get snow, let me know what the weather is. I know some people were saying that they were having nice weather and some people were saying they were getting a ton of snow too. We are one of those that's in the path of that huge, crazy snowstorm. So we're getting unseasonably amounts of snow or actually unseasonable amounts of cold weather. Um, here it's like below zero, which is not something that normally happens and we don't normally get this amount of snow anymore when I was a little girl though we used to but definitely not anymore so um it's so thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I love to share the gates how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. For everybody that comes back and loves on me, thank you so, so much. I know a lot of prayers have gone up. I recently broke my ankle. It's a pretty big break um, as far as the bone that I broke, so it is gonna take quite a bit of recovery time. I'm hoping this week um, when I meet with my ortho, it's actually, um, when you're watching this, it's gonna be this afternoon, um, but hopefully he is going to allow me to begin to wait there in my cam walking boot with my crutches. Um, I have been non-weight bearing. I haven't walked for two months, <laughs> which has been really eye-opening, huge challenge, um, but I know that it could be worse. Um, but I am starting to work on a little bit of physical therapy and just keeping um, my legs strong and my attitude positive. Now, speaking of a positive attitude, remember every day that we wake up every single morning, it is a gift from God. We are given another day to make somebody's life a little bit better, to bring love and sunshine to somebody's day. And it can be as easy as smiling at somebody, giving somebody a hug, sending a cute note, um, or even if you're on a social media page like this podcast, platform right here, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Leave somebody a kind comment. If a friend of yours or an acquaintance or a family member posts a picture of their dog, their grandkid, um, their hubsies, you know, send some positive vibes. Give that person a like, a heart, um, make a cute comment. You know, when you put positivity out there in this world, that is going to come back to you. And so just remember that everybody is struggling and going through things that we might not even see or know about. We don't know what's going on in their lives. And so you don't ever know why somebody posts something either. So I'm just reminding you guys of that because I feel like um, a lot of our world has gone online with social media and a lot of our interactions, even just the amount of texting everybody does and all that kind of stuff. So we really need to remember to bring love and sunshine and joy to each other's day. So if you see something negative, keep on scrolling. I love y'all. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. I am so wishing I could get up off this ankle and do some crafting. Um, and eventually I will. So it's just baby steps. I thank you guys for watching my videos. Go and watch some playlists. Um, keep tuning in. Um, you know, just your love and support is so necessary. And go over to my Lily's Romantic Home Facebook page. You guys can follow me over there. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing is totally free. Following is totally free. Um, I have an Instagram and a TikTok. Um, you know, hey, you never know when you're a one woman show, if something's going to take you down, you're going to be down for just a little bit. So, um, um, you know, that being said, I eventually am going to get back to my filming, but right now my main focus is on making sure I do not re-injure myself. I am a mommy, I'm a one woman show, and so doing daily chores right now is just a lot and trying to do my PT, my exercises and all of that fun stuff. I do some computer work for you guys, um, posting and different things like that. Um, but I have never really ever had to sit down and really just take it easy. And it's funny because over the winter, I felt like my heart was just saying to God, I'm so tired right now, God, I just really, really need a break. And <laughs> not, I don't I mean, literally I broke my ankle. So I, I know that God, you know, 
knows everything and has everything in control. But um, yeah, so things like that happen and I'm just trying to roll with the punches and keep going and see things from a different, unique perspective. So if you guys are struggling with mobility issues, I feel you. <laughs> Um, and especially the older we get, the more we have to be conscious of those things. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. What do you guys think about this cute Easter tree? Would you like to see a full video on the Easter tree? I basically just took stuff from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and, and um, decorated it up. Um, and I do have like a little knee rover. I have my knee on it right now to keep my ankle elevated. And I'm still on crutches, so... Anyway, I love y'all. I hope you're having a gorgeous, blessed day. I can't wait till our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Oh, I want to tell you guys one more thing. I've been ordering HelloFresh, totally not sponsored. I just clicked on it and started ordering it, and it has been a game changer. It's like doing a cooking class. So drop a comment down below and let me know. Do you guys want to see me make a HelloFresh meal? Not sponsored at all. Just really enjoying their service because, um, you know, downsizing as the kids move on to college and all that kind of stuff, I feel like I'm throwing a lot of stuff away. So any tips? on that. I would love it. I love y'all. Have a gorgeous blessed day. Until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. See you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.